Knock knock. Who's there? Wetlands are areas that are covered with water seasonally or permanently and provide beneficial services to the environment. One of these benefits include a habitat, providing homes for plants and animals. Wetlands support their own unique community of plants and animal species, which is dependent on the type of wetland. These species may be threatened, endangered, and endemic. There are several wetlands within Jamaica. However, there are those with international importance that are a part of the Convention on Wetlands of International Importance or the Ramsar Convention. This is an intergovernmental treaty with an aim to encourage the conservation and wise use of wetlands and their resources. There are four sites in Jamaica with a combined area of 37,847 hectares designated as Ramsar sites. These are Palisados, Port Royal, Black River Lower, Morass in St. Elizabeth, Portland Bight Protected Area, spanning St. Catherine and Clarendon, Mason River Protected Area, Clarendon, co-managed by and operated by the Natural History Museum of Jamaica. Let's take a closer look at the biodiversity found in the Mason River Protected Area and Portland Bight Protected Areas. Do you know any plants and animals that are found in these wetlands? Knock knock! Who's there? The Mesa River Protected Area The Mesa River Protected Area is located at the border of Clarendon and St. Anne. It is an inland peat bog consisting of a flattish area with several surface depressions, ponds and sinkholes that seasonally store surface water. Here are three types of plants and animals that can be found in this unique wetland. Sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss that is found growing here is special. It can hold 40 times its weight in water. During World War I, sphagnum moss was used to bandage wounds because of its ability to hold fluids and its purported antiseptic properties. The pitcher plant, which was introduced in 1969 from the United States, is carnivorous and gets most of its nutrients from capturing insects that crawl into the top of the pitcher. These get caught and are ingested. The prickly pole. This palm tree is endemic to Jamaica. The leaves and trunk have very sharp needle-like prickles that the tree grows for protection. We have animals that are found at the Mesa River protected area. Let's look at three. The Connecticut Warbler. This American songbird is not native to Jamaica, but it is a stopover visitor as it makes its lengthy winter migration to South America from the USA. It is said to be one of the hardest birds to find. The first ever reported sighting of the Connecticut Warbler in Jamaica was at the Mesa River Protected Area Game Sanctuary and Ramsar site. Dragonflies are spectacular, flashy and expert flyers due to their incredible ability to fly straight up, straight down, hover just like a helicopter, and mate mid-air. A dragonfly will starve to death if it cannot fly because dragonflies can only eat prey that are caught while flying. Their eggs are laid in and around water bodies, which makes the Mesa River Reserve an ideal habitat. The Jamaican Callisto is an endemic butterfly located all across Jamaica. Adults are usually low-flying. 
eye-like markings or eye spots found on the wings of some butterflies, such as the Jamaican Calistro, are said to help butterflies to intimidate predators as well as deflect an attack. Knock knock, who's there? The Portland Bite Protected Area. The Portland Bite Wetlands and Keys is a protected area located in St. Catherine and Clarendon along the south coast of the island, just west of Kingston. It is 24,542 hectares with 8,000 hectares of coastal mangroves among the largest contiguous mangrove stands remaining in Jamaica, as well as a salt marsh, several rivers, offshore keys, coral reefs, seagrass beds, and open water. As a result, the area is home to many animal species. Mangroves are a group of shrubs and trees species that live along shores, rivers, and estuaries in the tropics and subtropics. Mangroves are remarkably resilient and most live on muddy soil, but some also grow on sand, peat, and coral rock. They live in water up to a hundred times saltier than most other plants can tolerate. The Magnificent Frigate Bird Their body is black, with the males having a red chest which is filled with air to attract females during the mating season, while the females have a white chest. Frigate birds are referred to as kleptoparasites, as they occasionally rob other seabirds for food and are known to snatch seabird chicks from the nest. They also feed by harassing other birds such as terns, gulls and pelicans to steal their fish or until they regurgitate their meal while it catches it in midair. The Brown Noddy The Brown Noddy is a tropical seabird with a worldwide distribution including the Caribbean. Its body is dark in color with a distinct white color on its head and straight tail. This species is sexually dimorphic, meaning that the males and females are different in appearance, such as the males, which are larger than the females. The American crocodile is Jamaica's largest reptile. They can be found in tropical and subtropical regions living in wetlands, rivers, and lakes. The American crocodile is endangered and protected by law. It is gray, green, or olive green in color with a long slender snout that is V-shaped in comparison to the American alligator. Crocodiles help to keep waterways clear from being stagnant and clean by eating the carcasses or remains of animals found in the water. The American crocodile also helps to maintain a balance in the food web and wetland ecosystem by keeping aquatic animal populations in check.